hopefully answer all the questions in, in time. And we're going to try and keep this to 40 minutes to 45 minutes so that we don't, uh, you know, draw it out too long. I'm going to share a lot of information. Some of it's going to be very new to you. Some of it's going to be Greek or French or Spanish to you. So don't worry about it. We're not trying to uh, force the whole ox down your throat in one, one session. This is going to be something that will make you think deeper or it will just be something that you can learn something about and you know be entertained <laughs> so all of you can can you see my my screen my presentation screen i just want to get a yay or a nay great so myself and my wife we started this business seven years ago i'm just going to give you a little bit of background on where we are from and the reason why I do that is because um, there's a lot of new pop-ups at the moment. People that are, yes, we train, we, t we give education in cryptocurrency. And you think, but that guy yesterday was doing something else. And how can he become, or he or she become an expert in that right now? Um, I, you know, I don't know how much credit, uh, work this person has done, how much experience they got, but they are going to venture out like we did seven years ago. So we have seven years of experience. And I'm going to tell you that all of the people that do train on Forex and cryptocurrency will hardly ever tell you that people do make losses. People do make mistakes in the market, that the market does turn down on them. So whenever they show you the, the graphs and they show you these numbers, I'm not going to show you how much money people make because you will think I'm talking BS, and normally it is BS. What we, do, what we do tell you from the start is we teach you the very plainest trading techniques there are. When I say plain, I'm, not, I'm talking about you can go and start a shop or a business after you've learned to trade. In other words, if you go and buy a two liter Coke for 13 Rand, and you resell it for 18 Rand or 22 Rand, that is your profit. But if you buy it for 13 Rand and you go and, and, and the price drops to 11 Rand and you sell it for 11 Rand, you lose two Rand. That is spot trading. What 99% of the traders are doing in the markets right now is they're doing leverage trading, IQ options, binary trading at high risk. That's why people lose so much money because they do stupid things like that. You start off, you never start off with those kind of trading because if you're doing binary trading and you say the market's going to go up 1% and you gain 1 to 10 leverage, so in other words, you put $10 and it goes up 1% and you said 1 to 10, then it means you'll get $100 if it goes up 1%. But if it goes down 1%, you might lose $100 of plus the $10. In other words, you lose 10 times your money. That doesn't work for cryptocurrency trading because our markets sometimes go up 10, 20% in one day. So if it only goes up 1% where you could have made 5, 10, 20%, you could have made that as a profit. So traders get wiped out of the market. I think some of you noticed just soon after the lockdown started, the price of oil fell to minus $37. How does it get to minus 37? How can it be in, an, in a minus negative number? It's because that trading leverage trading. We do not do that. So I want to put your mind at ease. That is what we don't do. We do plain spot trading. So if you bought, bought something for 10 Rand and you sell it for 9 Rand, you lost one rand and you still got nine rand left. So we have done a little brief introduction. My wife is on the call tonight and um, she's welcome to uh, answer any questions if you folks have any questions later on and make sure that the phone's on silent. Um, we teach you to trade with your money. So somebody would come to me and say, oh, well, you trade for me. Then I say, 
No, I won't. Why not? It's because I become your servant. I start working for you. So I, if if you if you come and tell me you you you're gonna tr- want me to trade, I'm gonna tell you a ridiculous fee to start off with because I need to sit in front of the screen for you. So we teach you to to make money for you with your money without having any middlemen. So we are a trained team. We have professionals on our team helping individuals like you and me to get an understanding of this game that we're in. We are doing a combination of training online like I'm doing right now, but mostly not. And then we do, we have recorded training. In other words, if you feel at the end of the session, I'm interested, I want to get started, then you will click on the link. We, we, once you've paid, we send you the link and you get started. In other words, in your own time, you can continue and finish the course. Just as I was posting the links like the earlier, people said, but I can't be on that time. I've got load shedding. I've got whatever the story is. So the benefit of training on your own is that you've got a link that you can go through all the courses on your own time. You can stop, rewind, pause, and do it in your own time over and over again. So there's no time limit to when you will be doing the um, up to you. Some people do the course within a week. Some, some people take a month because they only got maybe a half an hour a day. So what makes us unique? Well, we, we do, most of the people ask, do you do indicators? Do you train and teach indicators? And, and the answer is always yes. We have to teach you how the indicators work. And I'm going to show you some of the market indicators that we use regularly tonight and, and how we use them and why we use them. But the next few things that I'm going to sh- tell you about is what lots of traders, when you tell them, we teach you, market cycles and Schmitter years and that, they will look at you and say, what's that? Because I only teach them indicators. So markets have their cycles. They have their ups and downs. Bitcoin has clearly given us a four-year cycle. In other words, it takes three years to hit a high, and then on the fourth year, it drops virtually the whole year, and then another three years up, and another one year down, another three years up and down and up and down. We teach about the GAN cycles because there are certain time, times and timing in the markets as we're going to talk about the moon phases. Tonight is full moon. Tonight's a good time to stay awake, to trade the markets, to be trading and to be productive even in your day-to-day life. If you try and, uh, some people find it easy to sleep, but on full moon, people don't sleep easily because they they feel they need to be productive. And so that has an influence on the market. So it's not full moon just for South Africa tonight. It's full moon now in America also. It's a full moon in in Asia. Whether it's day or night, it's full moon. And that full moon has the effect that in your body, if you've been eating a lot of salt lately and been emotional lately, because salt influences the water content in your body and you start swelling up and you start fighting you start drinking more you start eating more during full moon people spend more money in full moon and as a result the markets generally go up now we do have full moons that are the opposite so full moon could be a high or it could be a low then we teach simple channels i'm going to show you what a channel looks like because channeling channeling channels help traders to understand the markets and once you understand that the movement in which it's moving you can have a very safe trading strategy and that's possibly the next thing that we're going to speak speak about is because when traders start um, coming to trade if you had to consider yourself as if i had to say would you do you want slow profits or do you want quick profits put in the chat box would you like slow profits or quick profits 
it would be nice to see what your your um, your answers are. Slow profits or quick profits? All right, so slow profits. All right, there's come on, guys. You need to be honest, yeah. Slow but steady. So depending on that answer, if if you, I think the guys that are saying quick profits are, are, are scared to admit it, but generally people want to, to, to do, to take quick profits and quick profits are, are possible, but often with, without guidance, you wouldn't be able to make quick profits. Um, quick profits, the quicker profits you want to make, the more gambler there is in you. And that's what happens as people go and put all their money on one trade and then they find that the trade doesn't do what they want it. So we, we have in the past seven years, we've had small workshops with just one, two, three, four people. This was our, our, our office and shop in Pretoria that we had. And I had um, a nice Bitcoin um, sprayed on, on the wall with the, the um, Russian background. And we used to do lots of training there. Um, then we moved to Cape Town. And in, in Cape Town, we, we eventually moved to Cape Town and had the facility there with screens and all. But we, we had these workshops. And at this point in time, this was in July 2019 when we went to Cape Town. And what we did was we were busy trading a cryptocurrency, the only one cryptocurrency that, that year. And you know what the, what the exciting thing was? That cryptocurrency went up quite seriously. Some of you on the call know what I'm, which one I'm talking about. But there was something that went wrong with that company. And I attended a conference the end of June 2019, and I realized that this is going to tank. In other words, it's going to drop. When the market goes up, we call it a bull market or bullish market going up. Or when it goes down, it's called bearish, bear market. But tank, tank means that way. And I warn that these traders, of these traders, five or six of them actually got out of the markets when I told them to get out. And when they got out, they made their money. And everyone else that didn't get out, they markets dropped so it's it's always important to have some little bit of background if you're trading something new or something different when we're trading bitcoin and the main cryptocurrencies they're pretty predictable and they they're not so fast moving so we did we had what this we call a trade athlon a trade athlon is when a group of people come together and we sit and trade the markets together now, all the trade athlons that we do currently are online. So you can sit in the comfort of your own home with your um, cigar and no, I'm joking. And you can sit and trade together with other traders. So that makes it exciting. Now, I want to talk to you about safe trading strategies. What we're going to talk about tonight is the dollar, the rand, um, silver, gold, and Bitcoin. I'm going to show you the Dow Jones also because what the main stock markets, Wall Street, is influencing everything that's going on. And it's just happening that Wall Street is busy crashing at the moment quite seriously. But these are the times in the market where the markets are low. That's the time that traders make money. Warren Buffett is a very typical example. They say when there's blood on the streets, it's time to buy. When there's celebration on the streets, it's time to sell. So when there's blood on the streets, when the markets are dropping, the millionaires and billionaires are made by buying in the dips. And when there's celebration on the streets, when the prices go up, Christmas time, that's the time to sell. Because in January, all the prices drop because the guys didn't sell their stock, Christmas stock. So the prices drop and drop and drop and drop because January is called January and February. So if you can make your money 
in the non-worry months, then you won't worry in the worry months. So what we have a strategy, when we take the most common um, one that the South Africans are trading, we've got international courses that we're gonna discuss just now. But the main, for South Africans, we normally start them on a basic uh, Forex trading pair. So we call these two stable coins, the dollar and the rand. Okay, they're not that stable, but they're more stable than any other pairs. And everybody that starts off with a, the dollar rand trading pair, and they trade for one to three months on that, they get confidence because they make money through the strategy we're using. So this is a 240 minute chart, which means one day, one day candlesticks that we've seen right now. On the on the the dollar rand that you can see the rand has depreciated quite seriously over the last um, since since mid June, and it's going seriously further. But what we do is we have trading ranges, and this is basically what we call a channel. So when you want to see how high is this market going to go still? And when it goes down, how low will it go? So this would be what we call a swing trader strategy. Someone that's, um, they want to know where it's at the top, where it's at the bottom. They want to sell at the top, buy at the bottom, sell at the top, buy at the bottom. But we have a totally different strategy for those people who need to earn income on a daily basis. And the dollar rand is the easiest trading strategy there is to trade. So if you're trading two, um, country, two countries against each other's currency, you can actually make some good money. And for those of you who are South Africans, it's good to have dollars or accumulate dollars so that when the, the rand depreciates and the rand is going to 21, 22 rand, per, per uh, dollar. And then it will go possibly by 2025, I'm saying around 80 Rand to the dollar. So if you've got a million in the bank now, 1 million is gonna be worth 200,000 by in the four years time. So even if you look at your policies that you got, you say, well, I'm gonna get a million, I'm gonna get 2 million. Just think that's only gonna be worth a quarter of what it is worth now. The next thing we want to be trading is right now is silver. Silver has hit rock bottom prices. It might still take another little dive, but I don't think so. And I think that this is the South African price for silver. This isn't the overseas, the you know, dollar price for silver. And this has been such a great trading pair for people that come in the market. Maybe they only got enough to buy one this is per coin. So the silver coin is, this is one ounce coins. And if you buy it on the exchange, you can withdraw it. You can go and pick it up, go and fetch it and, and have it physically in your possession. Or you can take that one coin, trade it up and down and turn it into one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, five, ten, twenty 10, 20 coins. If you're diligent enough, to trade it on a regular basis. So in other words, like the Bible talks about the, the men that had one talent, two talents, five talents. This is the most typical example that you're ever going to see of how to increase your talents. You're going to take one coin, turn it into two. And if you, or you bought two coins, you're going to turn it into four. You've got five coins, you're going to turn it into 10, maybe 20, maybe 40. That's the idea of the original biblical principle in Genesis 1 says, be fruitful and multiply. How do you multiply? The multiplication is the most important thing that all of our forefathers and Abram, Isaac, all of them had either planted plants, which had seeds and grew, or they had cattle and sheep, which had babies and multiply. Here is opportunity for those of you who don't have farms and land to actually make more of your money on a, on a regular basis or a slow basis, because not everyone has the same strategy. Gold is the same. Gold has been trading around 20, 28 to 32,000 Rand 
a gold coin. So there is an opportunity for you to trade on gold also. So the exchange that we're using for the South Africans, you can trade gold, silver, rands, dollars, um, and Bitcoin and 20 other cryptocurrencies, which is, which is nice because South Africans always are, are scared of getting themselves involved with overseas exchanges. So we always start South Africans on South African exchange. And when they want to go take a step further, we help them with that. Here is the Bitcoin chart since 2019. So we can see it's got some serious ups and serious downs. And this has been, we can see we are possibly on the lowest low right now. It might drop a little bit again, but we are about to see an upward mo motion in this. This earlier this year, it went to almost 1.1 million rand per Bitcoin. They say, I can't afford a Bitcoin. No, you don't you need to afford one Bitcoin. You can buy five rands worth of Bitcoin. Then it's 0 0.00012. If you want to buy 100 rand or 1,000 rands of Bitcoin, then you get a fraction of a Bitcoin. But that fraction of a Bitcoin can mean 5, 10, 20,000 rand in the next few years. So we have the, the opportunity, as you can see, the markets are on their, almost their lowest since 2021. And this is very, very big opportunity right now. So learning the markets is, is basically understanding the graphs, understanding their cycles and their times. We're going back to that thing about the moon phases and the seven year cycle and the Schmitter years. Those are important for us. So one of the first things that we, we teach traders is candlesticks. What are candlesticks? Candlesticks are seriously overrated because people think that candlesticks are everything. Candlesticks only show you what the, the general trend is. Virtually very few times can you actually predict for certain that the markets will go in a certain direction. But we're going to use the candlesticks to help us, guide us, see where is the market going at any given point of time. So the red ones is blood on the streets. And the green ones is celebration and panic and greed, panic and greed. And so we can see there was a, in this movement, there was a general downward direction in the markets. And the, it hit the rock bottom almost on the solstice. So when we talk about solstices and equinoxes, if you don't know that, then you probably haven't been to school for many years <laughs> because those are seasonal changes. And normally our season changes on a high during the solstice. And this time it was on a low, which is an anti-cycle. It's the cycle is upside down at the moment. So as soon as your cycle should be, the price should be on a high and it's on a low, then there's trouble. Then there's, then there's issues. So one of the first things we teach you is support lines. Find, draw lines on, on the screens. You've got tools on the left-hand side of your screen. You've got tools that you're going to draw lines to see where are the bottoms, whether it's a, a line going down at an angle, whether it's a flat line, where the market keeps on bouncing at the bottom. Where are these lines? So support line means support support it's holding wherever the support is that's the lowest point where it keeps on bouncing bouncing off the second thing we'll teach you is resistance lines the resistance lines it keeps on going to that place and then it goes comes down and it goes down the next place and it comes down so it shows you how there, there are regular intervals where it hits a place and then it doesn't go any higher so these are called resistance lines Resistance is the ceiling and support 
is the floor. Then the next thing we will teach you is the Bollinger Band, because the Bollinger Bands show you the flow of money going in and out of the market all the time. It shows you volumes of what's going on. And it also shows you how low the market would go or how high the market would go at any given point of time. In other words, the Bollinger Bands almost shows us this is the street that the price is moving in between. So don't expect that it would go except one or two places I'm going to show you now. That street is getting wider at some stages, like the, the N1 highway between Pretoria and Johannesburg, or it becomes the N1 um, between uh, Bloemfontein and, and Joburg. The, it gets narrower. And where it gets narrower, the prices slow down, the markets slow down. And when it gets wider, the markets are speeding up. It's either going fast up or fast down. So we see we more or less in a narrow place right now. And your narrow places is normally preparations for big, big movements in the market. So we are preparing for big movements. And normally, the alternative markets like you know, all the Ethereums and, and block ticks and all of these other cryptocurrencies start moving a lot. So when mo Bitcoin moves slow, then a lot of other cryptocurrencies we make money on. So we have where the pipe is very narrow, when the markets are moving slowly, but a preparation normally for either down or an up. So if this carries on staying near the bottom of that little channel, it will go down further. But if it starts going to the top of that, we're going to see a bull market and it goes back up again. Then the next thing we'll teach you is RSI. So for those of you who've done trading before, it's kind of refresher kind of information for you. And it might um, help you understand that the way you've been reading the markets is possibly just been limited. You can't take one indicator and expect to know what's going to happen next. So your RSI is what we call overbought and oversold. In this case, whenever the market, there's this pink or purple area, depends on if you're colorblind or not, depends on your perception of uh, colors also. When you see those little dashes, those dashes at the top and dashes at the bottom. The price is always expected to, to move between 30 and 70%. In other words, when it gets to below 30%, that means people are selling, people are selling, people are selling. So this gets to the oversold. People are selling, selling, selling. The price falls, falls, falls. There's panic, panic. So the lower it is over here, the better opportunity is to buy. But the higher it gets to the top there, the more dangerous it is to hold that stock. And then you need to think of selling it before it starts going down. So this overbought and oversold is what, if you go onto any trading program, they will talk about the overbought and oversold RSI all the time. Our Bitcoin price, now this is a one day graph. So each one of these little candlesticks represent one day in time where the price was. One day in time where that price was. This bottom year, which was below 20%, I think it was 16%. That was the lowest bottom we've seen since 2019. In other words, that was possibly a huge a huge place, huge bottom to buy, which is around 300,000 rand, which was around $17,000 at that point in time. So you can see that was actually a very nice place to buy. I mean, traders are also always uncertain. Is it a good time to buy? They go back to the RSI and say, yes, it looked like a good time to buy. It doesn't necessarily mean that it was the best place to buy but it is still a good place to buy because the price generally goes up soon afterwards. 
This is the Dow Jones. Now, I drew this channel on the Dow Jones and I've drawn these other lines where I, I'm predicting this is the, the biggest stock market crash in history. In other words, I, I do not want to be in the stock market in the next few weeks and next few months. There's, um, I, I haven't zoomed it in. Maybe I should just you know, grab my trading view chart and show you what I'm talking about. Let me do that. You should be able to see my Dow Jones chart now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom it in onto the current price. Now that channel, that downward trend that it's in right now, that downward trend is it's been bouncing up and down in that, still going down. I've shown a resistance line that it's not been able to go above. And we will see in the next few days whether this will drop below this. I'm certain that America and Britain and all of these countries have just gone hand in hand. Now we are at war with Russia and, and, and then we will start seeing the third world war virtually is in, in action. Everyone wants to fight. Then this price will now drop to these bottom, bottom prices. I'm, I'm, I've drawn this, I'm not changing it. So anytime you go and look on, on my, um, my charts, you will see that it will be dropping through here. And when that does, there's more, more and more panic. So you say, okay, what's, what's, wh why do you say we need to learn to trade now? I'm teaching you that like gold and silver and, and the US dollars are going to be good currencies to trade. So you can see it's right in the corner there. They might try and bounce it once more up to to 32,000, but we're going to start seeing some serious drops um, by Friday, Monday, Tuesday, or maybe they'll try and um, the Fed will push more free money. They print money, guys. They print millions of dollars. Great. Let's get back to the presentation. So there are four different strategies that you can use. We can basically summarize it into two strategies. Those that have got a lot of time and those who don't have a lot of time. But we, we have four different strategies and people often say, I don't know what strategy I want to use. Now, that doesn't mean you can't use one strategy one day and another strategy another day. But what you need, do need to do is you need to make up your mind before you open a trade what your strategy is going to be. So a scalp trader is someone that has 15 to 30 minutes a day, four to five days a week. That's a scalp trader. You don't have a lot of time to trade. You want to get in and get out, get in and get out, whatever that may mean for you. <clears throat> or you want to be a day trader. Day trader means I, I've seen up to 16 hours a day that traders have been sitting in the markets and watching, 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 watching. I definitely don't want anybody to want to do that. But there are fanatics. There are crazy people that do that. I've done that myself. When we've had trade athlons, I've been sitting, we can sit up to 20 hours a day in front of the screen. But that means you, you, your life gets pretty unbalanced. So if you don't make time for exercise and, and eating and time for your family, you might get unbalanced. And also one of the things I want to tell you is if you make a decision to, to trade, just let your family know that this is what I want to do. I'm, I'm busy learning this. I'm, I, I want you, to, you folks to make money. But how can you make money if you've been distracted all the time or you, you feel I can only do this when my spouse isn't around because they're going to maybe be angry. I had one, one new trader. He didn't want his partner to know that he's trading and he started making money or, or making money and he's, it makes him nervous, makes you nervous. So don't tell the people that you're going to trade. 
So a day trader is what most people think traders are. That's not the case, folks. Swing traders, once in every one to three months, you're going to buy, buy at the bottom, sell at the top, buy at the bottom, sell at the top, and you might do that three to six times a year. So that's a different strategy. You will need signals or you'll be need to, needing um, alarms on your screen, all of that. Last one is an investor, which we call an, a, a position trader, where they in for the long term. So position traders would start getting themselves ready to buy Bitcoin now, for instance. They would be buying certain cryptocurrencies that have hit the bottom price, and then they would just hold for the next three, three to three and a half years. That would be a pretty good strategy. And but they'll keep the, the their ears on the ground all the time to hear what's going on because you also can't just leave it and do nothing about it. You also need to stay informed. So depending on your strategy and depending on how much money you've got, traders normally start with anything from 500 to, to 15,000 rand. Now, that doesn't mean you can't start with less or you can't start with more, but I'll give you an example. One of my traders... His name is April Marocca and he's in Pretoria. He, he found me one day and he said to me, I'm, my wife told me I need to learn to trade. And she said, she walked past your shop the other day and she, I want you to come teach me to trade. So I went out and he, and he had basically, he, had, he was running two a taxi business. He had two taxis, but both of them, uh, the minibus taxis, both of them were basically redundant that's it's the last one he used parts of the other one to fix this one and then this one was standing on bricks in at the townhouse complex he was staying so his business had come to a standstill so he started with a thousand rand and a week later his wife gave him a thousand rand and this was the 28th of february 2017 15th of december he came to me he opened his portfolio and I looked at his trades and he was sitting on virtually just over 102,000 rand. And then I looked at his withdrawals and I said in a year he'd, he'd withdrawn about 28,000 rand to, to cover his expenses. So he sat in front of the screen every single day and he just traded and traded and traded because he had no other work to do. Had he had he not sat in front of the screen and just bought and waited, he probably would have made half of that amount of money. So he wouldn't have had any stress or panic, but he, he, his timing was correct. So, so somebody that's sitting in front of the screen, trading a lot, can make a lot more money than an investor over a longer period of time. We don't have any brokers. So once you sign up with the exchange, you or you log in, you don't have to report to anyone, you don't need to ask permission to withdraw your money. If you've done Forex trading before, you'll be shaking your head and you'll think, oh, this isn't possible. Now, what I want to tell you is that we, cryptocurrency is pushing the, the world forward at a rapid rate, at such a rapid rate that the world banking system is going to collapse. You don't have to believe me. It's going to, it's busy collapsing. Give the, the banks two to five years, we won't see banks or the banks won't operate the way they are operating now. The banking system is the stupidest system right now. It's outdated. Now you say, how do you, oh, you send money from your bank to a different bank and see how long that takes. How long does it take for you, for me to speak for you to hear? It's probably take one to two seconds and you hear everything I say. So why is the banking so outdated? So the, the, that's just one, one example. If the banks don't start adding cryptocurrencies to their portfolio and go into the blockchain business, they are redundant. In fact, all the South African banks are using either Ethereum or Ripple or some blockchain right now, except for African Bank and Capitec Bank. They need to get on board because cryptocurrency, it's not a, uh, if you've joined a Ponzi scheme and you gave your money to some Ponzi uh, scheme, 
as a cryptocurrency, you got the wrong idea of, of what cryptocurrency and, and blockchain is because you, you are careful because of who, who's, who's this. Cryptocurrency is you can buy it and keep it yourself. You keep your own passwords. You keep your own logging details. So we, you pay us for the education and you carry on on your own or we can give you daily monthly signals. We will help you sign up with a local exchange. So if you're South African, you sign up with the South African exchange. If you're British, we sign you up with the British exchange. You're American, we sign you up with American. And then once you're confident with your local exchange, then we can take you to the next courses, which is international exchanges, which gets very exciting. Once you sign up with your local exchange, you will transfer from your bank account to the bank account of the exchange. It will then reflect on your portfolio as a balance. And once you, once you see the balance, then you can start trading with it. So this is just passing, passing all the systems that are currently in, in place because if you want to sell your stock with the a stock market or with um, a brokerage, that, you've got to find your broker first. And the broker say, no, you've got to wait now. It's not the right time. To, they want to convince you otherwise. You can withdraw your funds at any time. You can start trading at any time. You don't need permission. Once you finish the course, whatever whatever package you want to take from us, you will get one month free signals for free. And thereafter, if you decide to carry on with the signals, it's a paid signal system. So the first option is often what a lot of people say, I just, you know, give me the link, let me, let me sign up and, um, you know, start, start trading right away. Let me start learning right away. You want to trade gold, silver, Bitcoin, 20 other currencies, US dollars, and the courses are very comprehensive. In other words, you're going to have a course which is a minimum of eight hours long, eight hours of video. There's another four to six hours of practical trading, and you can go and watch those videos over and over again, pause, rewind. And then the price is seventy dollars or one thousand two hundred rand. Now let me let me quickly show you when we're talking about Bitcoin trading or, or cryptocurrency trading on the markets. I'll take you back to the other screen. So we can when we look at the markets here. This looks like a hectic market, and possibly it is a hectic market because we can see the market went up to 20,000 and then it dropped to 18,000. In fact, lower. So just 18,800 that time. But look what happens when this it goes back the same distance up, and that's why. I don't understand why some the traders, when they buy, everyone wants to get into trade when the markets are high, when everybody's, hey, it's going up, let's buy. But they don't realize how much better it is to buy at the bottom. Because when it gets to the bottom again, uh, back to where it was, it's bigger percentages. Let me, let me put this on a one day chart. For traders, and, and what we try and teach people is, I don't know if you've ever heard of dollar cost average. So if you buy the same amount of Bitcoin every single month, 100 rands worth, 1,000 rands worth, 5,000 5, rands worth, over a period of 12 months to 24 months, you, your average will be a lot higher. Your profit will be a lot higher because you bought the same amount every single month. So let's say, for instance, um, Bitcoin dropped, how much did it drop? 74%. When it goes back up to where it dropped from, you made 
almost 300%. So for those of you getting in now, guess what? You'll be smiling all the way to the bank. So that's why timing is so important, getting yourself in the, at the right time in the markets. So there's this, the $70 or 1,200 option. The second option is for those people who are feeling unsure, they, they need help. You need help on getting your account set up. You will sit with one of our trainers online and we will go through step-by-step step on sign up, click on this, write your password down. We don't wanna see your password. We don't, want to, we don't want your login details. We're there to guide you through the process to build confidence. Plus, then you'll get the link with all the training videos on. That's, that takes us time. Often, um, we've been asked a few times in the last few months, why don't you just you know, show us how, what to do? And I can show you step by step what to do, but then not every one of you are going to be able to go understand the procedures and say, whoa, whoa, stop. Please start over just that part again. So doing it one-on-one -on -one is the only way we can, and it's going to cost us time. Remember, this is my full-time job. This is my full-time occupation. And you want professional help, you pay for professionals. Now, what we do have is the exchange, the South African exchange that we're using. We have a one-on-one -on -one contact. We're on a WhatsApp group that anytime any of your, let's say your, your ID doesn't, or your KYC doesn't um, reflect and they, they're not approving your account, we will help you get that verification process faster. Sometimes people, like we have people from Zimbabwe and Botswana and Namibia, they want to sign up. They can sign up with the South African exchange, but sometimes they, they give the wrong documents. So we will, we will try and help you get the right documents and we'll help you through that, that KYC process. So there's so much better when you know the right people in the right places. So that's a $97 sign up. Then for those who say, no, give me the real thing. Give me the full, full on courses. We got full beginners. This is, this is international course. So if you do our beginners course, you'll get the, the, the uh, South African course included in this. Intermediate, advanced, and then the astro science course. But we thought maybe for the month of July, we would, we would give discounts on all of them and we will do the following. In other words, you're virtually paying half the price and we're giving you those courses at 2997 each or 7997 for three. And, or if you want the astro science, the astro science is basically when we go into detail on the moon phases and market cycle predictions, um, seasonal changes, that, that helps traders understand why the markets are doing what they're doing at any given point of time. Now, I know that um, there's possibly, there's our website, is the South African website. We're working on our international website at the moment. It's called bitbybit.co.za. And that site is, there's a form that you can fill in. So it's like, when you see these, these um, presentations done, then normally they give you, okay, if you sign up tonight, then we'll give you this discount. We're not gonna put you under any pressure. This, I'm, I'm tired of those, those pressure sales. Uh, I get cheesed off when people tell me, I've only got five minutes to do this. It's, that's, that's silly. So what, what I normally do is um, there is, a little form, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually give you the link in the chat box. If you, you want to fill in that form, just say, I want to learn, or I want to learn to trade, I want strategy one, or you want to schedule a 10-minute 10, 10 Zoom call with, with one of us, please, by all means, do that. So you click on that, just fill in the form. Um, you, you don't have to fill in the discount code. Um, well, let's, let's give you a discount code tonight. And you can 
give that give that discount uh, code and then we give you those discounts. So what I want you, you folks to do is I want to create an excitement to tell you that if you do three months, what, what we teach you to trade, you are going to make money in the next three months. But then you need to follow this strategy that, I'm, with, that we're going to teach you. And you follow that strategy. If you want to start trading Bitcoin and other, other coins or other cryptocurrencies, that's your own that's at your own risk. But if you trade for the next three months, what I'm showing you, you're going to make no less than 10 to 15 percent per month. Yeah, I can't guarantee anything and I'm not a financial advisor, but this is the kind of money that these traders are making. Some of them are making 10, 5 to 10 percent per week. So if I say you can make 10 to 15 percent per month, that is easy money. That means if you if you want to make money like that, you possibly need to get back to um, the straight stra strategy. Where is it? Scalp trader, maybe 15 to 30 minutes per day, four to five days a week. Now, cryptocurrency trading is every single you can trade every single day of the week, every single day of the month, every single day of the year. So they don't close. You see, stock markets are outdated. And if you feel like you want to trade Tesla and um, Amazon and all of those, that will be included in this course, these courses that we give you here, the beginners, intermediate, and advanced. So you're welcome to you know, copy that link and click. If you guys got any questions, please ask the questions in the chat box because that would be nice to understand you know, what you're doing. We are staying in a small town at the moment called Kalitzdorp. It's in the Western Cape between Oatswaran and Ladysmith. A lovely little quaint town. If there's a chance that you guys want to come through and spend three to four days learning to trade, it's going to cost you 20,000 Rand. And you can come spend three to four days with us and spend some time with us, visit a wine farm in between or whatever, going to the mountains. It would, it's just a stunning place to stay. And we decided that's what we can do. You can stay anywhere in the world as long as you've got an internet connection if you're a trader. And wouldn't it be nice to get out of the city, get out of the, you know, um, wherever, whatever traffic and fumes that you have to inhale every day. There's um, a number that you can also text if you feel like the, the way that forward is, is, is to, to, you need to get started ASAP. Um, and the you know, last thing I want to show you, and it's something that we've been working on for years. Every single day, we take every bull run there is, and we anything that's above 5% profit. One of the cryptos went up 220% this morning. It's ridiculous, folks. But if it goes up more than 5%, we write that down. I've been doing like a human, human bot. And, and every month, every day that on the 14th or the 15th or the 16th, we have certain coins that we watch. And if there's a re repetition, let's say um, link, chain link, this month, tomorrow, or two days time, it goes up by 5, 10, 15%. If it goes up next month on the 15th, we, we put a, a, a darker marker on it so that we can work out which are the coins, or which are the cryptocurrencies we should be watching what time of the month because there are repetitions. And those repetitions mean that you, every single day, you don't need to go and look at 20 different currencies or 50 different currencies, you can look at just one or two or three and put your money on that and virtually you make money on those currencies. So that's just another little, little thing 
that if you're on the signals group, every course that we, we have is um, signals. We give you also the days, the danger days of the month, moon phases, all of that is important for us um, so that we have as much information every single day, which day to trade what. So if there are any questions, um, yes, we've kept it just under an hour. If there are any questions, please ask the questions now while, while we have, while we're online. This will, the recording will be up. I will be putting it on the different groups so that everybody can go and watch anything over again in their own time. All right, folks, did you learn anything tonight? How was it for you? Anything interesting that you found? Please um, let, us, let us know. No questions yet. So I think, I think before we, we the, the presentation, I try to think of as many questions because often the first question people say, how much, how much do I need to start off with? And you just, as, as what you're comfortable with. Um, the smallest trade on the South African exchange is, is five rand. So you can buy five rands of whatever. Um, but generally I say, 500 Rand plus is a, is a good place to start if, you, if you're feeling uncomfortable with more, then you don't trade with more. But if 5,000 5, Rand is, is pocket money for you, that's what you start off with. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Hope, you, hope you've learned something and we, we'll, we're about to see some big action in the markets. Gold and silver are about to do what they, they do every time. So what I tell people is if you want gold or silver, gold and silver, buy 80 to 90% silver and 25 to 20% gold. Don't buy more gold than silver. For those of you who understand what the stock market crashes, recession and depression is, you actually need the physical. You can't take a Kruger Rand and go to the shop and buy stuff with it. Because you, how are you going to get chains on 30,000 Rand? But you can buy, you can use a silver, um, silver one ounce coin for four, 500, 600 Rand. You, and you can buy with it and still get chained. So, and silver grow, goes a lot faster. It's like a penny stock compared to gold. It goes much faster up in price than what gold is. So let's say you buy one, 30,000 rands. Instead of buying one ounce of gold, you buy um, 30,000 rands worth of silver now. By the time gold and silver hit their high and you sell your silver, you'll be able to buy between one and a half and two and a half gold coins with the same money, but including your profits. So there's a, there's a free tip. So your silver grows a lot faster. It's easier to carry silver around uh, and much less tempting for thieves and stuff. And you can put all your, your silver in your backpack and go. Whereas if you, if you leave the country with gold, they will stop you and say, this is reserve banks, um, gold coins, um, you can't leave the country without permission with gold um, Kruger Rands. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see you soon. And um, those who want to sign up, we will watch our emails right now. My wife will watch her phone because that number is her, her number. And um, we will follow up before the next hour or whenever you're ready. Bye for now. Have a great evening. And um, hopefully you either entertained or learned something.